The opioid crisis has even hit babies. 863 babies were exposed to drugs at birth in 2016. 9 and 10's Katie Boomgard talked to some moms in recovery looking to stop the stigma. Hear their stories in this special report, Overcoming Opioids, A Mom's Mission. That baby is hope for the future. And so that can be one of the reasons they never went to seek treatment before. They didn't have something so important to change their lives. I think that's where it starts. There's a starting point for every addict's journey to recovery. Opiates at first, but then when they stopped working, I started doing heroin. They started drinking after I had my oldest. And I drank all the way up until I knew, well, after I knew I was pregnant with my second son. So I was drinking into that pregnancy and finally started seeking out help. And more people are falling victim to opioids, including moms. I was prescribed opiates. That went on for the longest time. And I was really depressed. Um, so in August, I relapsed. And then I just finally decided that I needed outside help. Their journey looks a little different because there's a precious patient involved. When I started out of residency over eight, eight years ago, I noted that there was an increasing number of women who were dependent on opiates and needed uh, extra help during their pregnancies uh, so that they felt comfortable and safe disclosing that information, but also had the ability to seek treatment, care, counseling. Dr. Julia Riddle with Grand Traverse Women's Clinic says help and treatment weren't really available for pregnant moms when this epidemic first broke. But now programs and medicine are a saving grace. They come in and they admit to opiate use disorder. Yeah, and we see everything from heroin to morphine to cocaine. I'm seeing more methamphetamines than ever before. We treat them the same as any other woman. They come in, we do an ultrasound, we see the baby's heartbeat, we get them excited about their pregnancy. Babies can suffer withdrawal from the drug the mom was on during her pregnancy. This year we have treated 30 babies for withdrawal with medication in our NICU. So a little less than 10% of our population. Even though these babies can require a lot of care, here at Munson they have volunteer cuddlers who comfort their tiniest patients. This is not fetal alcohol syndrome. This is neonatal abstinence syndrome. Um, this is something acute that happens and it can be dramatic um, initially, but it is always managed carefully by our staff and our team. And when the symptoms um, have alleviated, there is no reason to believe that that baby won't go home and reach its full potential. For the moms, breaking the stigma and getting the help was key. These moms turned to addiction treatment services in Traverse City. For me, that's what I was mostly scared of, is that I don't want my kids to grow up and be addicted. I want that to end. I hope that they never have to deal with what I have dealt with. If you genuinely want help, there is help out there. And the goal to be clean was clear. I was a pretty good mom when I wasn't using. So just knowing that I can get back to that and be with my kids and be sober and have relationships with my family again, that's my motivation to, to do everything that I am doing. For 9 and 10 News, I'm Katie Boomgard. We've posted recovery resources on 9and10news.com.